Oh my God. He's actually coming home. It's been almost a year to the day. I want to see him in flesh. Touch him. Touch him. The year that seemed like it wouldn't end is over. The Ohio National Guard 112th Engineer Battalion is back home. The battalion arrived in Lakewood outside of Cleveland at almost exactly noon Friday. This is the scenario we have seen for nearly 10 years. Soldiers, when they go to war and when they come home from war. But it wasn't until this past February that we got to see what happens during those months in between. NBC4 was embedded with this unit in Shirvana, Afghanistan, at a base near Pakistan. We met and at times depended on these soldiers who cleared the mountain roads of IEDs, or improvised explosive devices. But today, it is all a memory and a new chapter is beginning for folks like Lieutenant Colonel Scott Manahan of Westerville and his wife Tasha and son Ian. I've been waiting a year for this. Pretty tough on the soldiers, very tough on the families. A year of days, minutes, and seconds for the family of Lieutenant Kip Fleming of Newark. It dragged and dragged and dragged. A year away for Sergeant Richard Pyros, who joined the Army at age 44 following the attacks of September 11, 2001. We were with him in the mountain villages as he served his country. Today, he's back home in the arms of his wife. I love you. I missed you. And a mother who never thought she would greet a middle-aged son coming home from the war. I'll just be so emotional, I can't talk. 180 soldiers are home from the most memorable year of their lives. It was, it was intense, very intense year. And now, spending one last day they will never forget. I'm just glad he's home. I love you. In Lakewood, I'm Mike Bowersock, NBC4.